Jack, yesterday you came back from the brink. Today seemed a bit more straightforward, was it? I mean, yeah, score-wise, uh, you know, it was uh, straight sets, which is nice. Um, kind of a roller coaster match as well, though. You know, uh, it was up a break. You know, got broken back, serving for the set, and then up in the tie break a little bit. Had the overhead of five all that I uh, somehow missed, and then it was able to fight back and, and take the first set, which was big. Um, kind of gave me the confidence, you know, to kind of roll in the second. And um, again, was up a break, got broken back, and then, um, you know, played a good end of the second set there. Through to the quarterfinals, but there's a couple of other subplots as well. You, you're still in with a chance of qualification for London, and then there's the uh, the US number one thing bubbling in the background as well. Does that make it extra exciting? Uh, honestly, didn't know either of those until after the match. The US number one, I really, I mean, you know, if it happens, great. Um, the London is, is, is would be you know uh, more satisfying and, and, and something more to, to strive for. Um, so yeah, I mean, now that you know, now that I know, it's you know, it's obviously. It's, it's a little bit closer, you know, every match and it's, you know, it'd be a few matches away now, but, you know, it all starts, you know, with tomorrow and, and playing one point at a time and not looking ahead at all. Um, you know, I play a very tough opponent tomorrow and the guy's been playing on fire, you know, as of late. And so uh, I got my work cut out for me, but yeah, like I said, I'm just going to take it one, one point at a time. And what exactly do you make of Fernando's run to the quarterfinals? Because that's been quite unexpected. Yeah, I mean, obviously everyone knows he's a great player, uh, you know, an established player. He's had an unbelievable career. Um, I think it's the energy that he's brought this week that, you know, we haven't seen, you know, maybe a lot of. And, um, you know, I've seen some of the reactions after his matches and during matches, obviously, he's been very vocal and, and um, like I said, energetic. And um, obviously, he's produced some amazing tennis because of it. But, uh, yeah, um, it's going to be a tough match. You know, the righty-lefty combo and both guys kind of trying to do the same thing, look for forehands and dictate play. But... Um, I think I played him once before, and uh, it, was a, it was a grind of a match, so uh, I'll probably be about the same tomorrow. And finally, we're asking everyone this. What do you make of Rafa's achievement to seal the year-end number one spot? Uh, yeah, I mean, not surprising, I guess, it would be my, my first one. I mean, I don't know, Steph Rogers played, you know, some absolutely flawless tennis this year, but Rafa, you know, is, you know, kept his nose down and, and um, you know, every week in and out, you know, produced some outstanding tennis. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, when one of those guys finishes number one, it's not really that surprising. <laughs>